Yeah, Tonga will be, be feel, feeling fairly confident after that last play where they get, they scored that try. This is the part of the field that I said earlier they need to be in more often because the worst result that will happen from here, the way the match has been evolved, is that a silly penalty will come up and that will give Tonga an opportunity to snatch the lead. Yeah, nice crash there from the Tongans. Gets them to the advantage line. Bit, yeah, a bit of a poor option there. Yeah, I think. no, I, I, I think um, this late in the game they were better to rumble up ball in hand because every time they've, they've played um, for the phases and uh, off the breakdown, there has been a penalty literally right in front. Why wouldn't you go for that option again? Yeah, well, you know, if you look back, you know, you had Royal Tong and Force line up on the left hand side. You know, they seem to be making inroads on the left hand side of Tong four pack so you'd go and attack there but you know and, and the Samoans were actually looking a little bit standoffish there that they actually felt that they might have got burned on that last play so there was a big opportunity for them to just take it in through their forwards and actually start rumbling it forward yeah anyway back to the live play now oh, yeah. oh and a lovely take Tom is off this is what they need yeah, it's nicely set up there by Sewer they need to get the ball out wide. It's open up on the left-hand side again. And they're just waiting for on their left-hand side. But unfortunately, the tight air props found a Samoan defender. All for long. Uh... That's why Mice find a lot of the Filipino. Filipino again. Strong in the tackle. Oh, he's on fire. That's a pretty cynical foul there yes, from the. Yes, it is. Yeah. Very much so. Now, this is their big opportunity. Stay with the ball in hand. Right there we go. The penalty did finally come. This is the moment Tom has been waiting for all day today. And uh, exactly what I said, if they just keep that ball inside that half, around the 22, they know they've got the boot, the wind at their backs, and the penalty was going to come. It's been the nature of the match, and uh, this is Tonga's opportunity to uh, capitalise on it, the way that Samoa did in the first half. Yeah, Tonga's coming home strongly here. It's where they can maintain it and then get themselves over the line. Uh, but, you know, fingers crossed they can. It's quite weird they've so like didn't take the penalty there. Unsure why not. Maybe they backed themselves for another try here. You know, another try here for Tonga would obviously you know, give them a lot of momentum going into the you know the last ten minutes of the game. The crowd is getting excited, that's for sure, Scotty. Yes, yep, it's all good. Here we go. Just keep it straight. Don't do anything silly in it. So our minds were onto it, but uh, not straight was the call from the referee. And uh, so a minor get out of jail card free for the, the Samoans here. But um, even if they get it out the back, they've got to kick into this wind and they, they just haven't been getting much distance. So, uh, or they haven't been finding the line at all, which has uh, happened a couple of times. So uh, Thomas still got half a chance here to do something. And uh, about eight or nine minutes to go. Still plenty of opportunities for some creative plays here. Yeah, I think, you know, definitely Thomas on the right, right part of the field. It's just a matter of keeping them here and putting more pressure on the... Uh, you know, the, the kickers. And obviously, the first thing first is to is put pressure on the scrum, which puts pressure on the, the rest of the team. And that's exactly what they're doing. But, um, yeah. you yeah. do actually have to allow the halfback to get the ball in. Um, yeah, but, uh, good, to, good to see that Tongan wasn't afraid there to actually start putting pressure on early. Now they just need to settle and, and control it. Yeah, Tonga have brought in their uh, their impact players and they're well, then they're keen to make a contribution. So 
We'll see how they go on this front. Scrum uh, <laughs> collapsing. Nice Not little penalty here would be, be good for time, wouldn't it? Oh, I think that's exactly what they need, dear. Yeah. <laughs> and, and again, it comes down to how those referees see it. Um, is it an offensive or a defensive penalty here? So, uh, <laughs> and, and nobody can read the mind of a referee at this moment, at this time in the match. So, uh, anyway, I get themselves uh, settled down again. He's had, given them a bit of a talking to there and just told them, you know, sort out the nonsense, which is uh, a bit of a battle when you're talking to two very large front rows. <laughs> anyway, here we go again. This third reset for the scrum. And that's it. We knew it was coming. We felt it. And well, um, there's, a, there's a little bit of pressure going on there from the, uh, you know, the tunnel replacements ledger. Absolutely, and the, yeah, uh, yeah. And the hooker, Hufunga. So, you know, yeah. obviously, you know, and of course, technically that was quite a good move. And of course, the other thing is the whole the whole scenario chewed up about three or four minutes of valuable time that if uh, Tonga are successful here, it's uh, less time that they have to defend a, a very narrow lead. But, uh, of course, the, the key thing is they've got to get that kick over. But should they do it, they will take the lead for the first time in the match. So, uh, in fact, I wouldn't be surprised if someone has asked the ref just for a quick check on how much time actually is left. Because uh, you'll want to use your absolute maximum allowable to take a kick here. You see the Samoans are a little bit shell-shocked. They're not even really sort of talking to each other here. They're just focused on exactly what's happening with the ball, getting ready. Oh! Would you believe it? Off the post. And we're just trying to see what side it's coming from. It looks like the Samoans do have it here. Very deep in there, back deep in the goal, and they're kicking out. And no, not finding touch again. Oh, here we go on the right hand side. Oh, just the wrong, the wrong pass there. I think the intention there was quite good. I think there was an opening there on the right hand side. But unfortunately, the execution wasn't quite there. But. Uh, how unlucky you couldn't hit those posts if you tried. <laughs> the one time that you absolutely don't need it to happen, which is a fairly simple kick, relatively close. And yeah. uh, here they are now on the 10 yard line or 10 meter line. Still inside Samoan territory, but unfortunately, again, it's Samoans put in. But uh, the Tongans, again, will have a really good go at putting the pressure on the scrum. But uh, the clock might be actually working a little bit against them here. They need to uh, need to get this right early on. And they need to be careful that they don't waste time with these resets and lose their opportunity to get those valuable points that they need to take the lead. Yeah, so well, Ledger there on the left end, on the right hand side of the Thomas Scrum is putting a lot of pressure on that loose head. And well, that's the captain, uh, the vice captain, Tia. As we reset again. Samoa 18, Tonga 17, one point in it, and I would say there would be less than five minutes of regular time to play. Yeah. Ah, and there it is again. That is great work up front by the Tongans. Really, really messing with the heads of the of the uh, Samoan front row there. Yeah, the hand and went straight down on the on the ground there from yeah. uh, the vice captain Tia. 